Hey everybody, iHeartMovies here, and welcome back to Let's Play What Arms Do. Let's start tackling Kana's Diablo Pillar. This one, as you'll find out along the way, is a lot easier than uh, Taloma's. Um, easier enemies, easier boss fights, um, just overall a lot easier. Um, I went ahead earlier and did a uh, test run of this dungeon. Um, got some better boss strategies coming up here, um, better enemy intel, all, and all that fun stuff there. Um, also practice the uh, action puzzles here as well. As you'll soon see, there's plenty of knife throwing stuff today. And new enemies as well. We have the uh, Oki Pete we fought from last time, so that's pretty easy. A uh, new enemy over there, that is the, uh, what are you, what are you called? You are the Fur Fur. That guy is weak to, uh, Great Elemental attacks, well, Earth Elemental. And I do believe, um, the Oki Pete is also weak to Earth, if I recall correctly. So this is why I'll be using Loka and Tim throughout this part for the elemental spells. And also for the uh, first boss here, because that guy is weak to fire, so I should be able to uh, burn him to shreds pretty easily. At least I did in my uh, test battle against him, it went pretty smoothly. A lot better than the um, Bella player battle, because no one died. And yeah, I very sure this guy is also weak to Earth, if I recall correctly. Uh, okay, there we go. Nice. Yeah, that'll make battles throughout throughout this area uh, really, really easy for me. Okay, moving right along. Yeah, it's pretty much the same layout for these Diablo pillars. They're all the same layout, by the way, just besides the uh, puzzle rooms here being all different. This one here can be a little tricky. You gotta hit the block back there three times. He's also gotta avoid the other blocks there. Of the uh, barriers there, but I made that look really, really easy. You can have times where you just have horrible luck and you'll hit one of those three blocks just over and over and over again, but I got lucky, so there you go. But yeah, actually, the other night I was recording this episode, and um, it was getting pretty late um, time wise, I mean, episode length wise, it was already pushing 20 minutes near the end of the episode, and um, I handled the uh, Kana boss fight really sloppily. I was not happy with it, so I had to just scrap it all together. Um, also, real quick here, uh, boom, boom. Ah, damn it. Uh, damn it. One more time. One more time. Bingo. That one's pretty easy there. But yeah, I wasn't happy with how I handled the uh, Kana boss fight. I was getting screwed by status ailments, and just the fight took a lot longer than I would like. So I wasn't happy with it, so I had to scrap it. But we're back at it today, episode 53. Um, should be in a lot better shape. So, what can I ramble on about today as we're fighting another random battle? Oh, a while ago I actually started up Final Fantasy X HD again. Um, I had a file on there before that I, um, I put like a hundred plus hours in. Pretty much did everything, got a real good Blitzball team, got most of the Celestial weapons besides Kamari's and Lulu's. Uh, excuse me. I fought most of the Dark Aeons. I did not uh, beat the Dark Magus Sisters or Dark Yojimbo, so then I also did not uh, fight Penance, but I did just about everything. But I started another new final just for the hell of it with the uh, Edsburg Grid again. Um, I just got to, um, where am I at now? I'm in Kilika, in the uh, Kilika Woods. Oh, this is where I'm at right now on July 6th. Um, by the time this episode actually goes up, which won't be for another, oh my god, like a week and a half, two weeks or so, um, I'll probably be in like the Thunder Plains or something by then. Okay, here we have the uh, boss already, but no one has actually hurt at all. Um, equipment wise, um, Secret Sign for Loka, Mystical Word for Tim for better sorcery. Um, if you had some spare crests, it would be, it would be a good idea to give Loka um, high flame, but I do not have that for her. But she has flame, that works well enough, so... Also, here's more of our uh, evil purple smoke mist of doom. That's the names of patent pending, by the way. Who do we have here today as I grab a drink of water? Some big ol' ugly thing here with three heads, the Shapeless Slime Monster Drado. As you'll see throughout this battle, he's a lot easier compared to a Belleclair. Damage output was nowhere near comparison to that freaking thing. Okay, so what I want to do 
Um, Ashley used Lucky Tart first. Glowtro go for Flame on the left head. Tim go for Red Buttes on the uh, left head. And you should actually be able to knock out each head with one casting of a Flame spell from Glowtro and Tim. Because, yeah, they absolutely wreck him. So this battle will pretty much be a joke. Kind of. This guy can be a little annoying. He can inflict a plethora of status ailments. He has one attack that's called Mercury Cadmium. Um, as you'll probably see at some point here in the battle, it can really ruin your day if you're unlucky. There's also that. Um, hmm. Okay, here's what I want to do. Let's give Loka a... Um, cures, Confusion, Pinwheel, that's right. Um, and Tim... Uh, I don't really need to heal, so I'll have him go after the uh, right head for right now. Oh, hey, go Loka. Free attack there. Well, not really free per se, but I'll take it. Yeah, this is the only thing really that's troublesome in this battle, is the uh, status uh, ailments. So you could equip, like, uh, the Moonstone to prevent poison, or the um, Silver Harp for silence if he can inflict that. Um, Stuff like that would make things a little easier, but I'm not gonna bother, I don't feel like it. I probably should, but I just don't. So I'll have me attack, Loka go for a flame, and now I'll have Tim just to use a first aid. If you get really, really unlucky with status ailments, but you have Tim available to have a turn, um, summon Rodoria, because that'll heal your HP and your status ailments as well, so you're fine there. The yeah, Ardorian for Tim is just such a good fit for him because it gives a nice boost to his sorcery and vitality, and he is fragile as all hell, and he needs it. But yeah, as you're seeing, this guy's damage output is nowhere near comparison to Bellaclair. Also, confusion again for Loka. Oh my god. Okay, so pinwheel on you again. Uh, let's go for. Oh, I can use a napalm hit. Nice. That'll be doing upwards of like. 3,000 damage plus, I'm pretty sure. I actually, I tried to record this episode last night. Um, I tried guessing the damage for it. I guessed 3312, and it was like 3443 or something like that. I was actually extremely close to the number, which I was amazed at, but uh, not so lucky here. Man, what, what doesn't Loka have right now? Jesus. Okay, let's use the uh, War Respite there on Loka and go for first aid. It'd be kind of cool, actually, for first aid, um, if anyone would make a ROM hack of this game, to change the effects of first aid, to, like, maybe heal a little less HP, but also heal, like, poison and disease or something like that. That would be really, really broken, actually. Well, it could be. Uh, uh, if you balance it out, actually, with healing less HP, but healing status ailments, that could work out really, really well. Okay, so now what I want to do... Um, Let's try High Spark, and see how good that'll do. Not too worried about Poison, really, because it doesn't do that much damage, and I'm also pretty good on HP right now anyway. So... There you go, nice shot there, Loka. Yeah, if I had High Flame, I would be spamming that like there's no tomorrow, but... Eh, I'll grab it later, I'm sure. And he's, just like that, he's already dead. Yeah, this is one of the, actually one of the few times, really, I'll use a two mage and one fighter party. But uh, yeah, that makes it battle extremely easy. Also, a plethora of experience points and yellow 32s for me, 31s, and the blue wind for Tim. Nice armor upgrade for him. Yeah, I'm hoping I can get, beat the entire pillar today. Um, last episode, I well, last time I tried going through here, um, I did pretty well. But yeah, I was just uh, pushing 20 plus minutes. I just wasn't happy with how the boss fight went, so had to scrap it. Okay, I'll just keep these three in for right now. Uh, for the eventual boss fight against Kana, I think I will use... I think I'll keep Loka in, because her and Restore will be really, really helpful in that battle. And I think I'll want to use Cannon as well, and I'll just skip boss uh, enemy battles. As I say that, here's one more battle, just because. Oh, pff, these guys, this is easy. Yeah, okay, what? Are these guys, like... They're like deer with wings. That's just weird. Kind of cool though. My face is itchy. Like, such a weird spot. I'd like to 
it's like my cheek, but also like not my cheek. It's like kind of like where the cheek ends, where like your uh, where your jawline is, like that kind of bone in there, the skin around there. That's what itches. That's like the weirdest thing ever to itch, but oh well. That was pretty easy. Okay, so do we move along, please? Depending on how I'm doing time-wise, I may or may not fit the Arcana battle in this episode. Uh, we'll just see how it goes. Just, I mean, the way it's going now, it'll either be a really short episode, like 11 or maybe 12, 13 minutes, or just uh, a really, really long one. Um, actually, no, I won't, I'm not going to save. Normally, I would. But uh, most times when I finish recording an episode, I'll just uh, do a save state. But yeah, in this case, I'll just just keep on going. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna YOLO it. I'm not sure how that phrase started. I do know that it actually was in the original Pokemon games. Um, one of the uh, biker dudes on um, round like 13 or 14 or whatever says that line. Okay, so this room here, we have a handful of these tiles here to step on which will light the room up here. But once you step off, the room goes pitch black, so the lighting tiles are your only guide. So, try to turn the camera angle here some. This area here isn't too, too bad. Um, I, yeah, I went through here a couple of times to get a solid path set up. Um, yeah, let's go this way. Uh, actually, we're almost out of this part, because just like that, we are done with that. Now, there's more than one way to go through there, obviously. That's just the way that I did. So, yeah. And actually, let's cancel that battle. Um, I had a pretty smooth battle against Kana, so uh, doing, we're doing well time-wise as well. So I'm going to fit it in today, actually. Hoping the battle will go a little more smoothly. But I will say, in my test recording, um, I ha yeah, I, I should have gave Loka the um, Silver Harp to prevent silence. Because I got screwed with status here once, I was too busy healing, not doing enough damage. Um, they had too many characters healing also, so... Yeah, it just took too long. We're fully healed, right? Yeah, we are. Oh, I'm gonna bring in a cannon for this battle. There we go. Poi effect. And, yeah, don't fall off, don't fall off. Alrighty! Time for a silver hill Keyblade user. Where have I seen that before? <laughs> Oh, well, that's why we're here for boss time. I was expecting some uh, witty dialogue from Kana pre-battle, but we have some right here. Well, yeah, that's kind of our job. I mean, if we don't do it, then who else will? Um, I am not feeling the whole space-time distortion thing. I'll pass on that, thanks. Okay, so what I want to do? Um, I'll have me use a lucky card. Um, Loka, let's have her... Oh wait, I almost even forgot. Um, yeah, give Loka the Silver Heart. I'll just give Tim the uh, Secret Sign. I probably won't even use him, actually. Um, but yeah, Ashley, Lucky Card first. Uh, Loka go for Mage Weapon on Cannon, and Cannon Attack. Um, yeah, same thing with Cannon. I'll get her FP built up to 99. Spam Eagle Claw. Um, for Loka, if I have a free turn with her, I'll spam Saber or High Spark, either one words. Or hype weapon, or something or other like that. I'm sure. Uh, for Ashley's case, I'll have him go to FP, and I'll go ahead and use access in this battle. Um, Kane is also the same as the um, last battle we fought her. Uh, she has Gate of I Sold, or I Soldy, whatever the pronunciation of that is. Um, she has 40 Hyper Blast, which can be uh, really, really powerful, and a normal attack. So, pretty much same battles before, just more HP and stuff. Oddly enough, actually, in my first test battle, she counterattacks a lot. And almost after every physical attack, she counterattacks. It was really, really weird. I don't know why, but meh. But yeah, she's not really all that strong physically. This, however, is strong. This will probably do like almost 2,000 damage. Like, I'm gonna say 1844. Damn, I was actually really, really close again. Um, anyway, um, for Loka, when she doesn't need to do much of healing, minus the turn she has, she's having right now, like I said, yeah, just use Saber or any um, high elemental spell. Um, any one works, really, doesn't really matter. 
and then, you know, um, mage weapon, hype weapon. Um, if you have protect, actually, that wouldn't be a terrible idea to help out with a 4D hypoblast. But, um, it's your call, and it's not really a huge deal, really. Yeah, the main thing with this battle is to watch out for the uh, status illnesses. They can suck! Um, oh, I got a new saber now. Nice. No one needs healing as well. Uh, cannon, one more attack ought to do. And then, oh, this spam Eagle Claw. Oh, by the way, for, uh, Mage Weapon and uh, Hype Weapon, which is Hyper Weapon, by the way, it's a letter short of Hyper, um, they don't work on, like, your arms or Cannon's abilities, by the way. I'm not sure if I mentioned that when I first got Hype, on, uh, when I first got Mage Weapon. I don't remember. Um, but a friendly mention there right now for you. Yeah, here's Data by Soul. That can kind of suck, although Disease... I can live with that, actually. Let's go Access. Um... Hmm. Let's have... Let's go ahead and cure that, uh, disease, actually. Although... Hmm. Actually, you know what? Let's hold off on me using access. Let's do... Medicine on me. Medicine for Loga. And... Actually, you know what? No, better idea. Let's bring in Tim. T and also, let's... Yeah, let's go and swap out some people here, actually. I'll have Tim use a first aid here for some healing, and then I'll have Cannon use a Eagle Claw there. Okay, so that kind of threw a little monkey wrench into my plans there, but thankfully you can switch party members on the fly. I do love that. What else is there for me to go over this battle? Not really much of anything, really. <laughs> <laughs> to be totally honest. So, today is, um, I don't say it earlier, it was uh, July 6th, 1019. Usual late night recording ses uh, session, yeah. She shore, she shore, for the she shore, all that fun jazz. Um, already got the episode, or the ep episode I call it, um, yeah, that's matched up for the tournament, for the LP tournament there. Um, the, you guys would have already seen that a while ago. Um, yeah, that would have went up. Well, let's see, they went up Monday, July 7th, so you guys would have seen that, like, last week, so... Yeah, at this point now, we're already on, like, the third matchups. It can be a little confusing, actually, to uh, keep track of all the stuff that I do, because, um... I mean, I do... They're recording so far in advance, so an episode you see, like, now... And I'm recording right now, but you don't see it until, like, next week is, uh, kind of weird. I'll have Tim attack right now. Kana should almost be dead, I hope. Yeah, this battle... just... It's still kinda eh. I mean, I was luckier with my test recording, actually, the other night. But we're doing decently fine. It could be better, could be worse. And she's dead, so there we go. No big deal. Yeah, the 32 is across the board. Hey, hey! Nice, I'll take that. Uh, you're out of luck. So yeah, a longer episode today. Which I'm actually kind of cool with. I'd rather have a longer episode when I'm able to finish an entire part in one go. Because I did want the episode to be like 12 minutes in cliffhanger right before the boss fight. Which is also, hey, you can't go wrong with two boss fights in one video, like seriously. Randolph the Magic Key. If I had to give that actual stats for like a Keyblade for Kingdom Hearts, I would probably give like a 3-6. Because it's decently strong physically, but it's called the Magic Key, so you'd think it'd be, it would give a really good uh, magic stats, so... Probably would also have uh, MP Hastera for its ability. That would actually be a solid keychain in Kingdom Hearts, if you think about it. Uh, at least for now, anyway. We won the battle, but not the war. He does have a point. And no, it has not. We still have uh, two more Diablo pillars left to go. Let's go ahead and warp out of here. Oh, by the way, um, I didn't mention this before. I should have. I forgot. Uh, for personal skills, I'll be doing them um, between episodes. 
um, after, between this one and the next one. And then after I finish the last two Diablo Pillars, I'll also do them there. So yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, get healed up, um, personal skills, ammo reloaded, and then we'll tackle the next Diablo Pillar next time on Let's Play Wild Arms 2. This has been Iron Movie signing off, guys. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.